there is nothing to compare with the Great Wall of China. No wonder it's the only individual building marked on the face of the globe. It captured my imagination as a young William Lindsay back in the 1960s in Wallasey, my hometown. In 1984, I ran Hadrian's Wall and the Great Wall came right back to mind. I had to take the chance. In 1987, I followed the Great Wall from desert to sea, staying with farmers, detouring the police, falling, not off the wall, but in love, clocking up 2,470 kilometers. It was the ultimate physical, political and romantic adventure and it anchored my future in China. In 1990, I moved from Wallasey to the Wall. Since then, I've spent approximately 2,200 days on it. It's sublimely beautiful, literally breathtaking, and gut-busting to climb. It traverses mountain ranges, snakes along narrow ridges, crowns cliffs, and is visible from afar. It streaks across deserts, past villages, between fields, part of China's ancient past in the present. And it's not just a wall. There are towers, fortresses half buried by sand dunes, now just faint lines scarring the Earth's surface. To search for its missing history, I'm setting off on a new journey. I'm going to make a detour away from these immense Great Wall landscapes to search for objects in China, Mongolia and worldwide that will reveal its detailed story. I want to meet the enemy face to face. Feel why they were so threatening. Hold the weapons used to fend them off. Read messages that builders and soldiers left behind. Find out how this wall was mapped. Discover who explored it and how. And track its transformation from ancient defense to modern icon. Check out my new book, The Great Wall in 50 Objects, to be published by Penguin Books China in November 2015. And these videos, to discover more about my journey.